Wow, would you look at that? The big man in USC, Southern California head coach, Clay Helton, has been fired today. Wow. Well, I mean, one of my thoughts about this was well, the right decision. Uh, USC is clearly not going to win the Pac-12, and honestly, they're clearly not going to win the South unless a new head coach gets them better. Um, Clay Helton did all phone recruiting, especially in the early years, at least. He's gotten a little bit better since then. Uh, but coaching-wise, awful. We picked um, Keaton Slovis over JT. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I mean, look, y'all just, y'all say what you want about it, but in my opinion, it's a good decision to fire head coach Clay Helton. Yeah. And I'm just letting y'all know that USC, look, USC is the way, they're not going to have a good season. That's just, that's just being honest. They're not. They're going to have a down year. They're expected to to have a down year now they got blown out by a Stanford team that's projected to win three wins told y'all they were upset in Notre Dame Uncle Lou thought I was an idiot well I mean look I, I'm, I'm telling y'all I mean but I mean look I get it okay I mean USC had most wins in first two full seasons as any as USC head coach Hasn't done anything since then. Uh, Dante Williams will serve as the interim head coach. But here's another thing, too. Do you really want to fire a head coach and who, with a team with so much hype? What if it was just one bad game? Like, I'm not saying don't fire him, but at the same time, it's going to. The team's probably not going to look good with the schemes getting changed and all that. But, anyways, I support the firing. Um, I, I, I think it's a good fire. Of course, I'm not a USC fan. I mean, USC has such more potential than us. And this is such an interesting job. Because there's so many guys who could get this job. I mean, Dan Mullen, James Franklin. What if, what, what, what if? What if Jim Parball comes back to the Pac-12 and actually snags this job? I sure wouldn't hire him, but hey, they might. He's NFL experience. <laughs> um, what about... Um, Matt Campbell, eh, maybe. Um, I mean, I mean, any other guys y'all can think of? Uh, Kirby Smart, Nick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you never know. They, uh, one thing about USC though is I feel like they should hire a head coach who's actually coaching instead of uh, coaching well, like James Franklin or something and stuff like that. Instead of a guy, a hot coordinator, I just don't think that's a good idea. That's just going to waste another three, four years. I know Georgia did it with Kirby, but, I mean, Georgia wasn't, I mean, the USC job is so much better than the Georgia job. At, at the time, Kirby was hired. Now, now if there's a new guy coming from Georgia, yeah. But, so, I mean, the hot assistant, it works, but it's just not as, you know, I think they need to hire a efficient and head coach who's shown he can win in the past. I mean, and James Franklin, Dan Mullen, I guess Jim Harbaugh, and Matt Campbell have all shown that. Uh, I mean, Jim Harbaugh has won in the past a little bit. He kind of has. Just Let's just be honest. So, I mean, what about the hot head coach at the group of five? No, I don't think so. Um, another thing they might do is they might, they might go with an NFL guy, and let's just say that there are a couple of NFL guys on the hot seat, and honestly, there are a couple of NFL guys I think would calm down in college. For example, Mike Vrabel, he's doing pretty well in Tennessee, but he doesn't feel like an NFL head coach, he just doesn't, um, coaches his team kind of like a college team. Uh, he's never coached college before, but I sure think it'd be interesting for him to come down and get a taste of college. Just think he's better there. Um, 
There was a coach earlier. I mean, uh, well, let's name another head coach. Pete Carroll. What if he comes back? <laughs> Let's see. Jeez. Um, there was another NFL coach interested in going to. It, it was some type of story about somebody, um, thinking about coming down to college. I think it was some NFL head coach. I forgot who it was. Definitely wasn't Mike Vrabel. Um, I'm going to try to see who it was and find out. It was somebody thinking about coming down to college. Uh, they didn't, but who? I'm going to try to find out. Looking through. Don't leave yet. I'm still looking through. I can't. It was somebody, but let's just get off that topic. Uh, anyways, point is, there's plenty of NFL head coaches who would come down to college. I mean, Cliff Kingsbury, the way he's been coaching the Cardinals, he might as well go back down to college. I think there's a good chance he does. Um, I mean, there's, I mean, who else? I mean, it's, it's Erwin Meyer, man. He's doing terrible in Jacksonville. I mean, look, I'm not, I'm not going to say anything about it, but he coaches his team like a college team. He needs to come back to college. Heart disease. God. Heart disease. Uh, yeah, uh, don't forget he has a serious heart heart condition all the time um, so maybe that's that breaks a little bit of trust <laughs> I mean, I'm just I'm just saying oh my god I mean I like the song but I've seen it a lot Two songs, I got you I mean, look, <laughs> I, I mean, I like the commercial, but it's been, it's been on a lot. I'll just say that. Yo, we fancy like Applebee's on a day good. And the water you say is strong. And a whipped cream with the top two. Two straws in there as I got you. Mmm, like Applebee's. All right, all right. Let's get back to college coaches. Brian Flores, maybe. Plenty of NFL. Sean McVay would be a good fit in college. Although he's got Matthew Stafford now, so now he's not going to do it. Um, yeah, plenty of guys who would come down and coach USC from the NFL. Uh, who do I think they're going to hire? If I had to give an early prediction, higher prediction. We're going to go with, um, God, man, I can't, it's so hard. I'm thinking between a couple of coaches, think between James Franklin, Dan Mullen, Jim Harbaugh, and, um, Mike Rabel. I don't think it'll be Franklin. He's a loyal. I think he'll stay at Penn State. So I'm going to cross him out. Mullen? Yeah, maybe.
That song's stuck in my head now. Uh, we'll go with... I think they'll hire Dan Mullen. That's my early prediction. After that, Mike Vrabel. After that, Jim Harbaugh. Then James Franklin, I guess. And after that... Uh... But who was the other college coach I said? Oh, Matt Campbell, I guess. Yeah. That's who I think, what I think's going to happen. That's what I think about this. Uh, but, yeah, we're just going to have to wait. This will be one of the most interesting job hires since the... I don't know. It's just going to be a... I mean, Texas was the, the higher of the offseason pretty much this year. Now we got... Uh, Let's see, man. A top five job, top ten program, pretty much. I mean, jeez. No excuse for what happened last night. I agree with the firing. Okay. Uh, somebody text me. Anyways, that's all I really got to say. Southern California, do better. Get better. And, uh, I mean, look. How many coaches is it going to take? What if Pete Carroll actually comes back down? Honestly, he probably should. Uh, now, I think he's adapted to the NFL game well, but he does lose in the playoffs a lot. He, isn't, he only has one Super Bowl and since then. He's pretty much lost in the divisional round every year since he... Well, he made the Super Bowl the year after, but since then it's been divisional round and lower. So... Yeah, I mean, yeah. He probably should. Urban Meyer should as well. Urban Meyer, you uh, if you. Okay. Um. Jeez. All right. Other than that. Hmm. Stay safe, USC. I mean, if Pete Carroll and Urban Meyer did come, both come back to college, I guess Carroll would come back to USC maybe, and Meyer would try to go to a... Maybe go to... Come back to Florida. I hope not. That would be terrible. Uh, anyways... Peace and go dogs.